Oh, hi. I was just adding a few final touches to my fall front porch. I'm going to add some fresh mums and live pumpkins, real pumpkins, when it gets a little closer to fall and when I can find them at the stores. But for now, I've got my corn stalks and I've decorated with a beautiful arch around my front door with a simple wreath to coordinate with it. I love the gold accents. Look at this pumpkin. Isn't this cool? And of course, I've layered my doormats. I love this one. Welcome with that really pretty pumpkin on it. Come on in, see what I've done for fall. Over here in the dining room, I've got the table set for a dinner party. Now, I will be moving these really big arrangements when my guests sit down to dinner, but I think it makes a great first impression when they come in. I just love using orange with blue, and in my blue dining room, that's just perfect for this time of year. I, use, I paired two different patterns of cascada flatware and just topped them with a little pumpkin. Over here in the living room, all I've done is add a little touch with this beautiful fall garland draped over the piano. Come on into the family room where we spend most of our time. With these leather sofas, it kind of looks like it's fall already, but it helps to add pillow covers in fall colors. And then, of course, I've decorated my mantle with this gorgeous garland that I built up. I used several different kinds of garlands and lots of picks to add and build that to look the way it does. We don't have a fireplace here in Florida. So instead, I like to fill my firebox with something seasonal. So I've done just that with this big tub that's filled with driftwood and pumpkins and apples and bittersweet and a bale of straw. My little tip, if you buy those craft store bales of straw and you're going to use them inside your house, don't take the plastic off. You'll be glad. <laughs> And of course, I've got some blankets because sometimes it does get cool. You know, too much air conditioning here in Florida and you want a blanket. And my coffee table, I have decorated with a tray with a couple of plaid um, tea towels and some velvet pumpkins, uh, some dried uh, magnolia garlands, just enough to give it a seasonal look. On this table behind the sofa, I love these candles that are battery operated that come on every night at the same time. And again, I've used natural elements. I did find some live pumpkins just last night and added those. An antler, which I kind of feel like is uh, a fall thing, even though I'm not sure what time of year that the deer leave, lose their antlers. And then I've just got some books that don't have uh, covers on them anymore for kind of a rustic look. And of course, Another candle, this one for fragrance, a little pumpkin candle. These are Hester and Cook uh, decorative papers that add a nice little touch to my fall table here. And then we have one more table here in this room that I've decked out with a very sad little maple tree because it's lost all of its leaves. And then the garland goes all the way down around this antique clock. This is our casual dining room with our farmhouse table. And today I have this set with a neutral tablescape, all in just uh, very muted browns, tans, creams. And um, I love to light the candles in here in the evening. It gives such a cozy, warm glow. And then up on my chalkboard, I haven't decorated it uh, with any um, chalk cusher patterns or seasonal sayings, but I've added a wreath out of these same aged maple leaves. And the heart of the home, the kitchen. When we redid our kitchen last year, I really wanted a shelf that I could decorate. And this really is a spectacular place to do fall. I started with an evergreen, an artificial evergreen um, garland, and then I topped it with these um, dried magnolia leaves and oak leaves and an oak leaf and magnolia leaf wreath up above. And then I added another one of the wreaths here where it's not interfering with my cooktop and just have some of uh, my cutting boards handy on display right there. Then 
One of the things my husband and I love is we love to keep some plates, some seasonal plates, right out handy that you can grab for a quick snack or a sandwich. So I have those and some napkins and some other fall decor on a tiered tray here, along with another candle. And I've never used this horse for fall, but this year I brought him out. The bronze color is perfect for fall and just added another one of those wreaths around his neck. Down here on my plate rack, I have switched out my white platters for some seasonal plates. I think that adds a nice warmth to the, um, to this space for, to the kitchen for fall. And then over here is where my husband and I eat most of our meals when it's just the two of us. And I just have a fall fresh flower arrangement and a couple of fall place settings. And of course, you've got to have these uh, padded mats when you're standing here a lot. And I love the ones I got this year. Hello fall with the cute little gnomes with their pumpkins. And I got a big one and uh, for in front of the sink and a smaller one in front of the refrigerator. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour my fall decorated home. I hope it's inspired you to add some fall accents to your home and I'm wishing you a happy fall.